Welcome back to the shipyard. Today, a little behind the scenes look. Uh, some of you have been asking, how do I store my Star Trek Jackwing collection? So I will be giving you guys kind of the tour behind the scenes of everything. Uh, I won't necessarily show you everything, um, but I'll show you the bulk of what's going on. Um, so here we go. So first up, I keep my uh, retail and prize Deep Space Nine along with Zindi Weapon Zero and then my uh, two board cubes up here as well as uh, Shapeway ships uh, and a Hero Clicks uh, Prometheus. But I've got the Titan, the Aventine, and my uh, refit NX sitting up there. Uh, so that's how I store those ships. Um, mostly because, well, the big stuff doesn't fit in the boxes I have, and the Shapeway stuff I don't pull out very often. Uh, so I figured, hey, why not have a display for them? So then we kind of move down to, well, the mess. Uh, but this is just uh, an old... OP box I have, uh, and it has all my uh, extras, uh, the stuff that I have available for trade, sale, uh, stuff like that, so you can see uh, what's there. Uh, and then uh, you can see I have uh, five uh, Plano cases. These are uh, Lockjaw 5231s. Uh, and uh, let's take a look inside each one. So this first one is all Federation. I have uh, captains sorted by skill, so skill 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, fighters. Uh, I also have the Q captain tokens. Uh, and then I have all my ship base plates laid up out there, uh, fighters, and then you can see evade, target lock, the D space nine, movement template, uh, a few generic captains because they're there. Um, and then underneath, I've got all the models. Um, So I try to group by like one or two classes. Um, something like this gets a few because it's kind of the mishmash that's got uh, Defiant, Reliant, uh, it's got the Thunder Child, the NX, uh, and the Robinson in there. Um, extra Galaxies are there. Uh, you can see the Bounty Fighters are there. Uh, all the Saber class. Um, that's my 5 attack die bin. So Sovereign and Prometheus. Uh, this is all kind of like the movie era uh, TOS stuff. So Refit, Enterprise A, uh, Oberth, and then um, Tiny Prize models. Um, and then I've got a couple more Galaxies, Hathaways, um, Voyagers, uh, Equinox goes in here, but it's in a bag from tournament stuff. And then dials are laid out so that they're connected. Um, this is all Excelsiors. I may have a slight problem. Um, yeah, so that's Federation. This second one is Dominion Independent and Bajoran. Uh, so Dominion gets these three uh, independent gets these two and then independent captains and then Bajoran ship bases and captains because they don't have as much. Uh, cloak mine templates, elite, attack, counterattack, dice, um, skilled helmsman, various maneuver templates. I kind of just fit things as they fit. Um, and then down below, you can see the 
Vidians, uh, the Big Dominion stuff, uh, more Big Dominion over there. Um, Keldon class, Assimilated Gallers, um, more independent ships there. Um, all the small Dominion stuff here. Uh, more galleries there. And then all the Bajoran stuff fits in here. So the one light ship, a few interceptors, and then a bunch of scout ships. So yeah, that one's pretty simple. Um, we've got some got some weighted bases there. Um, that's just got a washer glued to the bottom. Stuff's bumping a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, uh, that one's pretty simple. Third box has. Uh, mirror Universe, here and here. Uh, Klingons get four for ships, and then uh, captains are here, here, and here. Uh, this used to be here, but I had to expand. Uh, and then Ferengi, I'll sit here. I probably need to change that up, but, uh, well, I've been lazy. And then all my extra target locks. I have like six I take to tournaments. And then down below, uh, all the Klingon stuff. And some more Klingon stuff. And then Ferengi get those two, so all the decors fit there. A Quark's treasure. I have another Quark's treasure from Tournament Out. And then Mirror get the top three spots and dials over there. Uh, pretty simple. This one's getting crowded. So... Um, it may change. We'll see. All right, number four. Uh, Vulcan, Zindi, and Borg. Uh, and, of course, Borg uh, movement templates for the cubes, uh, the extra long pegs for tactical cubes. And then down here, spheres, scout cubes. Uh, all the Zindi ships fit right in there. Nice and neat. All the Vulcan ships in there. Uh, diamonds here. Base plates for weapon zero. And the tactical cubes over there. Yeah. That one, again, pretty simple. I've got room here to grow. I don't know that I need to, but... I can. So. Alright, and of course the last one. Romulans. Bioships. And Kazon. Uh, so I've got a lot of room for tokens here. This was kind of my uh, most... This was my most recent acquisition. So I kind of was able to say, Oh, I don't need any special storage. I can just make it work. But even this is somewhat tight. Um, that's because the scimitar takes up room, the deretics take up all kinds of room. Uh, and even science vessels, birds of prey, they're big. Valdors have to be stored separately over here. Um, bio ships get their own kind of bay to be there. And then Kazon sit all by themselves in the corner. They say nobody puts baby in the corner, but I put Kazon in the corner. So that's all well and good. You're going, okay, cool, that's that's storage, fine. You got plano boxes. Well what what else do you do? Well, I've got tournament stuff. I've got all the stuff that I take to tournaments. See, I leave the plano boxes at home. Those are kind of cumbersome to take with me to tournaments. So here's what I take with me to tournaments. So this is my bag of holding give or take. Um, we've got card box. Card box uh, does not actually hold cards. It holds um, stuff. What kind of stuff are we talking? Uh, we've got tape measure, laser level, um, 
card holder, damage deck, base plates, cloak mine template, second damage deck, because that's important. Tournament build, that's Craig's. Uh, all fits in. Kind of nice to have ships, styles, captains, all in a bag. Uh, Copilot, because got that at the last tournament. Good resource, like it. Uh, objective tokens. More objective tokens. That all needs to go together. Uh, extra bags, because you never know when you need those. All right, what else we got? We got build sheets. Uh, those are pretty standard. Hey, we got cards in nine pockets. Uh, it's a nice little trick I got from uh, some people that played in Fremont and said, hey, I like that. That's a good way to do things. Uh, it means you just put three of them out, and then you've got build, 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 and you can mess with them as you want. So, those come with me to tournaments. Um, Star Trek CCG tournament deck box. Holds 300 cards. Or, in my case, holds uh, bases, tokens, templates, ships, dice. Uh, kind of everything I need in one. Uh, that's my build left over from the tournament. So, that needs to be put away. Uh, what else we got? Chainmail token holder. Great for the tournament. Easy to pick up. Move. Uh, I had a buddy, Bryce, that put that together. Love what it does in terms of uh, transporting and holding tokens. Keep stuff off the board. Little big, but uh, I still love what it does. Extension cord charger for camera. Camera bag. Inside camera bag. Camera charger, which I forgot for the last tournament. Uh, small tripod. Uh, base for the big tripod. Extra memory cards. Extra batteries. Camera sits in here. But you can't see that because I'm using the camera. Because that would be difficult to film. Big tripod. That's what I got. That goes with me to tournaments. Bead storage bin. This thing is a lifesaver. This is how I carry all the tokens I need. Got everything. Shields, mission tokens, target locks. Uh, all kinds of dice. It's everything I need all in one convenient carry case. Um, this thing's coming with me to Origins. Starter box. Inside starter box. Um, official maneuvers plus some extra range rulers. Um, unofficial maneuvers. Lots easier to see. Uh, cardboard maneuvers. Never used those. Still have them. Uh, planets, more bases. It's all the stuff. It's all the stuff that I need. Alrighty, now the big boy, the card box. Yeah, the the big card box. Oh, yeah. Um, tactical cube. Tactical Cube. Uh, doubles of unique cards that eh, some people might want. Uh, missions. Resources. Movement cards. Special rule cards. Federation. Yeah. Federation. Um, all the old resources. Or big resources. Flagships, fleet captains, sideboard. Um... Cards that get run very frequently. Um, yeah. That's because I hate filing them and coming back. Anyways, that's a small sample of what gets run a lot by Craig and myself. Alright, and then it's 
all upgrades, and I've got these little dividers, tells me the faction, so it's all initiative aside from federation, so Q, Klingon, Romulans, Dominion, Borg, Borg goes all the way back, then Species, Kazon, Zindi, Bajorans, Ferengi, Vulcans, Independent, Lots of Independent, Mirror, and that's that. Probably missed something in there. Uh, and then within each faction, it's ships by cost, then admirals, then captains by skill and cost. Uh, elite talents by cost, uh, crew by cost, and then weapons by cost, tech by cost, and then uh, any question mark upgrades, and lastly, fighters. Um, so that is how I keep everything organized. Hopefully that's been an illuminating 15 minutes or so. Um... Uh, beyond that, a box of mission stuff here. This is this is uh, coming at some point um, for the campaign, hopefully. Um, Velcro, you've seen that. Uh, planets, other tokens, and then I've got a box of cards of all the duplicates, but yeah, I don't need to go into all of that, so it's fairly compact, it's relatively transportable. I bring all my cards with me to tournaments because you never know if somebody needs to borrow something and I want to be able to say, hey, here, you, you got this. You can make that happen. Uh, other people bring all their ships, so uh, you know, we, we make that all work together. Uh, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I didn't used to bring all my cards and there were a couple of times where I uh, had to borrow a card from somebody because I forgot to put something in my in my build. Uh, that was before I was running the, the sheets. Um, I've thought about transitioning my cards to binders. Uh, I will probably, if I'm going to do that, I will do that after Origins just because of the work associated with it and uh, it's easier to take cards with me than not. Uh, I will probably I will probably end up taking something like this card box full of cards to Origins because that is a little easier than uh, that box of madness. But yeah, that's kind of a, an insight into storage. Yeah, I do have another starter box with all kinds of like scenario pieces and such. I guess I can, since we're doing behind the scenes, uh, I will show you one other thing. So when I record videos, this is kind of my setup. Uh, computer, uh, windscreen, mic, uh, sorry for the mess in my room slash recording studio. Uh, mic is on a mic stand. And yeah, that's uh, that's what's there. Some paint over there, and you can see all of my mess. Uh, phone charging, uh, computer open to space dock because well, why wouldn't it be? Um, so yeah, that is the behind the scenes portion of this. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully. Uh, you've learned something, have an idea, have who knows. Uh, I don't know. You guys asked for it. I gave you something. Uh, like it or not.
So, uh, anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.